This weekend, let's, let's look back on another successful Magic Weekend. So over 64,000 people uh, heading to Newcastle for the fourth year, but probably the last, with New York being touted as the 2019 destination. New York, that'd be awesome, wouldn't it, as a player? Would it? For the fans, because I spoke to Warrington fans in the hotel last night. They're all saying, please not New York, we can't go. It's a long way to go, and it'd be pretty expensive, I would imagine, to go to New York. What, what's your thoughts, Craig? We've got to, we've got to, we've got to maximise the game. We've got to. I, 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 I do a grassroots rugby league where we take the players, two or three, and we go down to amateur clubs and try and get kids to come. We've been doing it now. We've done thirteen clubs, and I'm like, you, I get frightened when you, you tell it kids about the game, and they're like, oh. I said, who's the man of steel? Don't know. Who's this? Don't know. And I'm like, this is terrifying. So we have a bit of crack. Lads give a little presentation. We go and play a bit of tag with them. We've got to expand the game. We've got to get characters. We're scared of characters. I, I'm, I'm sick of this. You know, so there's a fine line in letting the old-fashioned supporters say, yeah, we've never had it down there, so let me tell thee. We can't. We can't <laughs> go back to that. We can't. We have to let it expand. Toronto could be a great success. They've never took a penny out of the rugby league. Yeah. If the word's right, they're paying for it on their own. Yeah, they are. They're paying yeah. it. And if that's true, that is so, 100%. well, that's unbelievable. And if New York does the same and they're not looking to take and they're only looking to give, you've got to look at it. How can you not? Show me the money. Show me the money. Show me the money. Show me the money.